I need new topics. I need new topics very bad. Ooh, medieval, comedy, mystery, transport. Ooh. I think I'm going to do... Wait. Ha. Ha. Where are you going to go with mystery? I don't know. Start our research. We must learn about the mysteries of the mystery game. Yay! You have successfully researched new topic mystery. Alright, new game. Mystery. Mystery strategy game? Does that work? Hmm... I'm gonna try it. I don't really know. Or it'll be like Clue. See? Mystery and strategy. Clue. Yeah. And we're gonna develop it. I don't have $80,000 to make anything on the new fancy Nintendo, so we're gonna stick on the PC where stuff's cheap. Mystery, a uh, mystery game. We're gonna call it simply Who Done It? And start development. Alright. A strategy game. Huh. If a, a good clue game would be more about the story and the quest, right? The story? The story of the strategy game would be a big deal? I think so. And game play. Doesn't really need to be that big of an idea. I guess engine, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna do story all the way up. I am... I wish I knew. Certain, I, I guess the only way to learn is to try out different stuff, right? And I forgot to do research on my last game. Goodness. All right, level design, dialogue. I think level design's a big one with dialogue speed. Dialogue and artificial intelligence. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put it right, just like that. I hope that's right, I don't know. We're not seeing a whole lot of bubble balls here. Not a lot at all. Strategy game, I want good graphics. Basically all graphics. I don't know. This is going awful. Why am I doing this? <sighs> I think I should trash it. If neither ball gets above a 10. Oh god. We need to trash this game. <laughs> we need to trash this game. And trash it with the quickness. Six out of six. Yeah, yeah, all the XPs. Up on bubbling up and stuff. Trash. Wait, you did not lose the experience? Perfect. That game was trash. I don't want to put it out. Alright, um. Wait, do, can I? Yes, I can still generate my game report for Jimmy John's Dungeon Adventure. Everybody's favorite. Adventure game featuring the lovable character Jimmy John. I also have enough research points to be able to uh, start working on an engine. Dungeon adventure is okay. Engine seems to be not. Engine's not important at all, huh? Hmm. All right. New game. Hmm. I don't like these topics. Like a military shooter game, a military action game, I know works, right? But does it work on the PC in 2D? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Action, military, on the PC, and we shall call it Call of Booty? Ah, that's not original enough. Not original enough. We're just gonna... Completely unoriginal. We're gonna call it Stalingrad. It's gonna be a game based in World War II Stalingrad, which is a city in Russia, if you don't know about Stalingrad. Really interesting part of World War II. We're gonna call it Stalingrad. And 2D graphics, which is gonna be awful, I'm sure. But it's like... The 70s, right? All right. Story and quest? No. Wait. 
this is a if this is a sing it doesn't say if this is single player or multiplayer. See, if it's single player, it needs to have a good story. It's the whole point, really. But then again, gameplay is number one. Story and quest is pretty good, but gameplay definitely number one. I think that should be the biggest thing in the world. Ah, goodness. We're going to put the engine up. A I I'm just going to leave it like this. Boy, I hope that... Oh, wow. Look at all the design points we're getting already. I think it's going good. Low okay, dialogue, no. Artificial intelligence. Doesn't need to be that high. Level design. An action game. This action game... To me... The levels, like the maps, are a really big idea. Like, you need awesome levels. So we're going to do awesome levels. We're also going to bump the artificial intelligence up a little bit. Because if you're facing AI, you want the AI to be good, right? I'm making this off of what all I can really think of. Get some bugs. Alright, and graphics, sound, and world design. I'm going to bump down the world design a bit. And yeah, we're going to have awesome gun sounds and graphics. Hopefully. Hopefully that's the goal. Yellow, that's the motto. And your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has been able to overdraw your account to 50k. But be careful if your account balance is below 50, you'll go bankrupt. Okay. And the recent, recently released NES phone console by... Nintendo has proven to a massive success. Sales numbers are exceeding expectations by far. One consumer says, love games I can play on my TES and with a controller, and it is so much better than a keyboard. Alright, this looks like a promising game. We have to fix these bugs. Get another point, a couple more points, and oh, one more point design, but and also get a bug out of it. But we fixed the bug. See, we're not Modern Warfare 2. We're not going to release with a ton of bugs. I ain't finished this now, so I end up losing any more money. Stalingrad is ready. Hey, I love how I can make that go faster by clicking. Awesome, so I leveled up in like everything. Well, not everything, but lots of stuff. That's good. Release game. First reviews for a new release game. Stalingrad came in. Come on, baby, high scores, nothing. I hate when I get fives. It's like, eh, it's basically meh. Uh, either either make it bomb or make it good. I hate when it's in the middle. Have seen better. Well, at least we're going to get money to keep the lights on. And while that's selling... Wait, no, I shouldn't develop a new game. Just yet, I should research Stalingrad. Because if I make a new game, that's going to cost money to even start the game up. And that'll make me broke. And I've recently just finished Stalingrad, and I'm impressed by your talent. And if I'm in the contracting business, and basically contract work, I don't need to read these things over, do I? I also have a ton of research points. I could begin work on a new game engine. Our post-release analysis of Stalingrad is complete. And we've got the following results. Military and action is a great combination. Engine is very important. Ooh, I didn't work on engine at all. Platform, action, and PC is good. All right, so if I were to remake something like that later on down the line, you remember engine. Engine is a big, it's a big deal there. All right, we are going to research. Wait, industry, damn, industry reports always popping up. Racist sites suggest that the increased variety in gaming devices also creates markets for more specialized games. Some platforms are more popular for younger group gamers, while others cater to the more mature groups. Okay. New re okay, target audience. That's a good thing to be able to research. I hope we can research them both. Wait, did I not hit research? Oh, I didn't. Okay, um... 65, yeah, we'll be able to research them both. Alright, so we're going to start research on a custom game engine. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. We're going to begin work on our own custom engine. If I can unlock 3D graphics, that would be fantastic. I'd be so happy. Songrad's now off the market. It sold 11,900 units. 
outfits better than Jimmy John's Dungeon Adventure. Following the massive success of the TES, uh, it rumors that Sega is going to be making their own console coming up. You have successfully researched custom game engine. New research available. Game tutorials and mono sound. Alright, awesome. I would like to research target audience. Wait, I caught wait, does it cost thirty thousand dollars to research that? Maybe I shouldn't do it just yet then. Huh. Yeah, I'm kinda broke. I think I'm just gonna go into a new game. Now, what do we do? We done rate. What would a UFO game be? You know? Adventure? An alien adventure game? Well, guess what else we're gonna do? Green people. Wait. Invasion of the green guys. That sounds like an awesome game that everyone's going to want to play on the PC. And 2D graphics. I don't know if I need to start developing my own engine. <laughs> Alright, so what goes into a good... Wait. Oh, I can't I can't click here, can I? I can't do anything. Hmm. What goes into a good adventure game? Engine is for action games. Like a military action game. The engine's giant. Wait, engines minus minus. So engines like not important at all in an adventure game. So the story and quest, I betcha, is a big one compared to game. All right, we're gonna do story and quest mainly. Ooh, look at all the design points we're getting already. We got six in the first go. All right, invasion of the green guys. Level design, artificial intelligence. Dialogue. I think dialogue's gonna be a relatively big thing. Followed up by level design. Not so much artificial intelligence. I hope that's right. We're gonna have to find out. Oh, look at all the bubbles. We're not really getting anything in technology, but we're already up to 10 in design. That's fantastic. Now, Invasion of the Green Guys adventure game. Hmm. I'll bet you world design and graphics with less emphasis on sound. I hope that's right. That's what I'm going for. I don't know. How bad? I mean, we have really no technology, but today Sega has released recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of design points. Goodness, let's fix these bugs. This might be a really good game. I hope. It's got 15 in design. Just bumping up. 16. 17 in the... Goodness! Invasion of the Green Guys. This might be the blockbuster hit we need. To not be negative 5,000 in our bank. Let's see. New record! Leveled up an engine. And dialogue. All right, here comes Invasion of the Green, guys, where everyone wants to buy the game. Our first reviews of the new release game, Invasion of the Green, guys, came in. Come on, eight. Eight, love it, yay! Eight, they're focused on story and quest service game. Yes, yes it did, thank you, Informed Gamer. Enjoyable from Game Hero, okay, okay. You gave me a high score in my first game, so you're okay. Almost perfect! We about to get rich, or at least semi-close. We about to make that bank, that moolah, that cash money, young money millionaire. Oh goodness, look at all the monies. 45000 in the first week. <laughs> We're no longer poor, and we can begin work on maybe a Super Nintendo game. Or uh, not Super Nintendo, but uh, an NES game. And a Master V has been released. All the monies. All the monies. Oh, wow. 
And as for me, I started up the marketplace worldwide. It's not going to sell well in North America. I don't want anything to do with it. Rank number 26. Or is that 28? That's 28. Well... I was just sitting here like wait, like sitting here like waiting and stuff and <laughs> reading all the things. I should be doing research. Uh, Invasion of the Green Guys off the market it sold thirty one thousand units and generated two hundred twenty one thousand dollars in sales. Like, it wasn't a giant blockbuster, but it was a damn good game. That's gonna give us a lot of startup money to do what it is that we're trying to do here. <laughs>